Hi everyone, Miss Amy here. I am the Children's Librarian at the Brookline Public Library and today I'm going to talk to you about two books in our collection that are nominated for New Hampshire's Flum Award. The Flum Award is given every year to books that are written for high school students. Uh, oh, we, we vote on our favorite in the spring. I will be making videos of all the nominees between now and then and when we get closer I'll be putting out info on how people can vote. The first book we're going to talk about is We Set the Dark on Fire by Talor K. Magia. And then Once in Future by Amy Rose Capetta and Corey McCarthy. So We Set the Dark on Fire is about Daniela Vargas or Danny. She is the most promising graduate from the Medio School for Girls. When she graduates, she will become the primera or the first wife to a young man from a prominent political family, along with another Medio uh, School for Girls graduate who will be the segunda or the second wife of the same young man. And the three will be wedded together to sort of maintain the family's prominent place in wealthy society. Medio is divided into sort of two sections. The central part of the island is the capital and it's wealthy and prominent. Um, and then the outer part of the island is actually separated by a wall where the impoverished citizens of the island live. And Danny is harboring a secret. She is in the capital illegally. She is initially from the outer part of the island and her parents snuck them all over the wall when she was very young in order to give Danny a better life. She is petrified that someone will find out after she's married and that she and her family will end up in prison. Um, but after she's married, the island's resistance movement reaches out to her to get her to spy for them. And Danny has to make a big decision. Does she want to maintain her comfortable position in society and her new life or does she want to fight for a more egalitarian Medeo? Um, then we have Once in Future, which is about Ari. She is a, an intergalactic refugee from the planet Kelch. She crash lands on old Earth, and while there, she pulls a sword out of a tree. But it is not just any sword. It is Excalibur. Ari is the latest incarnation of King Arthur when she pulls the sword. Excuse me, when she pulls the sword out, she awakens Merlin. Um, and initially she rejects the idea of being this King Arthur legacy, uh, but she realizes that it comes with some perks and some power. Uh, one of which is that maybe she will be able to rescue her two mothers who have been imprisoned by this diabolical corporation called the Mercer Company. And so she accepts the responsibility and sets off on an intergalactic mission. Um, so both really interesting novels. If they interest you, I hope you will check them out. 